what's going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 23 ultimate team video in today's video we're gonna do something incredibly stupid we're gonna risk our entire coin stack and all of our training on 97 overall joe burrow now if you guys enjoyed this video if you like it if it helps you out make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button shows a lot of support on the channel helps the videos get noticed also if you're brand new here you were searching around youtube for mutt 23 content whether it's how to make coins how to get free players how to build your ultimate team you found the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it back on the no money spent account today and we're gonna go all out for 97 overall aka joe burrow it's a new card that just came out today and we did a three million coin shopping spree over the weekend i mentioned that i'm ready to move on and get a new quarterback and we're going to attempt to get Joe Burrow. Now, we only have about 450K, and he's going for just under 800,000 coins. But we also have a good amount of training here. And basically, what we're going to do is we're going to YOLO it all on the training variety pack in hopes that we can make some coin out of this and enough coin to get ourselves a new quarterback. Now, I do have a backup plan, but at the end of the day, we're about to quick sell our 96 overall great value Tom Brady. We do get, I think, 27,500 training. So that's going to add to the training stack that we have. And we'll probably get a a little bit more as we remove the abilities off of this card but we are not going to have a quarterback after we do this and if we don't get enough coins for joe burrow well we're gonna have to make a purchase for somebody else but again i have a backup plan i think i know what i'm gonna do in that scenario but we're not gonna we're not gonna think negatively right we're just gonna go ahead and assume that we're gonna get the right amount of coins enough coins to get this burrow card and is he worth it or not i honestly don't know and this probably isn't the smartest thing to do on a no money spent squad but yolo we're gonna give it a try here we're gonna test the card out and if he doesn't end up working out for us we'll always be able to sell him and go after somebody else so here we go great value tom brady is gone he did a solid job for the time that i had him and remember if you watch back some of the old episodes we purchased him with basically free training it was all training that we earned from you know free packs from quick selling other bnds and items that we had in our binder or once we're on our team that we just no longer needed so we didn't really have to spend any coin there and the 134,000 coin that we have or i'm sorry 134,000 training that we have right now again we haven't spent any coin to earn now if you go back and watch yesterday's video we ended you know we purchased a bunch of cards and made the team so much better but we ended with somewhere like over 250,000 coins we're up to 450k and the goal this week was to get back towards a million if we make this buy we're not going to get there but we got a brand new competitive pass and i've been working all day grinding on it and there's a lot of free rewards that are going to come from it but also because of that 80 to 81 overall exchange set that gives you 10 cp towards the competitive the best uh 90 i'm sorry 78s and 79s have gone up in price and as you can see with these notifications we sold a bunch of the cards and made some good coin from them so that plus just grinding out this competitive pass this morning and afternoon we almost made a little under 200k which is gonna you know help us make this this purchase that we're hoping to make so i'm at 37 out of 40 cp and we haven't touched an online game yet i played all five of my solo battles that were available today um we got a lot of these statistical objectives knocked out two of them to go so there's 12 more cp there i still haven't done the 82 to 83 exchange set so i think we're in a pretty good position here to get some free content from this uh field pass including this 94 overall bnd weekly wildcard fantasy pack i think you know by the time i play five or win five mutt champs games tomorrow we'll have this pack unlocked and there's going to be another very helpful card uh and the end goal of course is to get to 200 cp and get ourselves this 96 overall nate davis which will definitely help out the team uh so there you have it that kind of sets us up to where we're at now we got 134,000 training if my calculations are correct we should be able to open up this training variety pack 11 times and if we can get lucky and pull i mean there is an ltd right eddie jackson is in packs right now if we could get lucky and pull that one that would be amazing but when i do the math here i think we need to make at least 350 to 400k off of these 11 packs in order to be able to afford uh joe burrow so let's hope and, and see what happens here pack number one we're mainly looking for like you know purple and gold uh strategy items if we can get some quick sells that are like 84 85 86 87 88 that would be great 
82 is not terrible, but it's not also incredibly helpful. So uh, we got off to a, a slow start, but not terrible. We cannot get silver stratagems. We cannot get uniforms. We cannot continue to get these 82 overalls. We're down to nine packs and we are not even at the 500K threshold. I don't want to have to go to the backup plan. So come on, give me some good pack luck here. Blue strategy items aren't the end of the world, but we prefer purples and golds. I believe I have one purple in my inventory. So if we can get one more purple, uh, that's going to get us at least 110K right there as we exchange it up for a legendary. But so far, this risk that I'm taking here is just not looking good. We need our luck to turn around right here. Come on, 87. Another 82. We're getting plagued by these 82s right now. I figure we need at least... 300,000 more coins to, to feel comfortable about being able to get Burrow. 88, let's go! There we go. That That's the one we needed. I feel great about things now. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So now we're up to 709k. When I check Mutt.gg, Burrow's average right now is like 770k, but we need to complete his set because we want to power him up so we can get those discounted abilities. It's going to cost us a little bit more than that, but I think we're headed in the right direction. Four more packs to go. If we can get like 100K or a little... Oh, oh, okay. Oh, well, that's not bad. 92. That animation still continues to get me here because I'm not used to it because they finally fixed it. Uh, but we get about, what, 60K from this. I'm going to go ahead. I, I should quick sell it and take some more chances but I'm going to take the guaranteed coins. I was going to say, I should quick sell it, take some more chances at the TVP, but we'll take the guaranteed coins because that's another 60K there. That's going to get us a lot closer to that 800K mark. Three more packs to go. Come on, one more big ticket item. 84, right here. Nope, we got an 81. All right, not terrible, but not great as well. Three more packs to go. We're at 740K. It's going to be very, very close. A purple strategy item would pretty much do me wonders. And we got a blue earlier, plus that blue equals a purple, and that purple combined with the purple we have equals a legendary which is another 110k so i think we hit our mark here it's going to be really close but I, I think we we did what we wanted to do last one can we walk it off 84 is pretty good i'm not mad at that one either so we're at 785k with a couple strategy items to roll upwards and make more coin that 88 overall trent williams platinum card was an absolute lifesaver like without that poll we are not here and the risk that we took did not pay off. And it still could be a stupid one, right? Like this card could still end up not being very good. Worst case scenario is that we go ahead and sell it. But it looks like the Joe Burrow card is going to be coming home. And will he be enough to bump us up to a 97 overall? I don't think so. But it's certainly a possibility because our defense right now is at a 97. The offense is at a 96. But here we go. We got a legend strategy item. I don't know what it's going to be. Sprinter would be nice. It's not at all. So we're going to go ahead and quick sell that one. Another 110K. And we're now up to 895K. Is that going to be enough to build out this set? I checked the auction house and it looks like we should have more than enough because these 94s are going for about 150K each. The Joe Burrow 94 is a little bit more, but we, you know we're gonna have to sweat the auction house out here. But it looks like you know that would total 750k buying five of them at, at 150 each, and we had well over that amount. So I think we're gonna be good here, and we just had a card sell. I don't know if that factored into our coin count initially or if it was already in there. Doesn't matter. But we're gonna go ahead and buy our 94s, and we're gonna complete the set power up this card, take a look at the team, but it looks like what we set out to do in this video is going to be accomplished. We got all the pieces we need for the Joe Burrow set. We got the Tehran Armstead at like 140K, so that certainly saved us a little bit of coin. I actually have a lot more left over than I expected, over 200K here. We are gonna have to go in and buy one more card to fully power him up, but we got his 97 and we got his 94. All we need now, what is the 90, or no, the 89 overall, uh, and then we can power him up. That card's only gonna cost us about 17k which is not a bad buy at all and uh there we have it we have all the pieces that we need to power them up we're going to throw some abilities on here though i just thought about it i hope i have enough training to add all of the abilities that we need. We'll find that out in a moment. Luckily, we never had to use it, but the backup plan, and it's kind of a in theme with what we did over the weekend, is I either would have bought LTD Joe Flacco or LTD Russell Wilson, which are two really good quarterbacks, in my opinion, that are slightly over 400K with a quick sell value of 350K because they're LTDs. So we definitely would add enough coin to make that, you know, getting rid of a Tom Brady and needing a quarterback. But it all worked out. Is this card worth this much coin? We'll find out eventually i mean we're gonna play uh some some house rules games with him and continue to grind out that competitive pass but i think he's worth a try the attributes look pretty good i felt like a lot of people made a big deal about his 
his 88 speed as if that's like slow in this game and, and I don't think it's really a big deal but he gets really good abilities he's got a solid release with slinger 5 I think he's worth a try in worst case scenario if he doesn't work out we can always sell it we're a little short on training to fully power him up good thing is we pulled this 85 overall Matthew Stafford from our daily get a gold player pack so we've lucked out twice now this week 91 player and now 85 Stafford which isn't like the the best overall card in the world but it's super Super convenient because there's 1.4k training and that's going to get us up to 1.7 which I think is basically exactly enough to go in and add our last abilities that we need on this card which is going to be hot route master and set feet lead uh, one of them's a thousand the other I think is is 650 so uh, here we go set feet lead is 650 like I said and that's going to leave us with 1090 training we need a thousand to add in hot route master so look how perfect this all worked out we got 191 1k left to our name basically no training but we got ourselves a brand new quarterback with chemistries he's bumped up to a 98 overall not quite enough to get the whole team up to a 97 overall uh, but we're getting there and I think we'll be there by the end of this week so if we take a look at the attributes 88 speed 98 throw power the deep throws 97 mid 97 short 95 gunslinger set feet lead hot route master on him as far as abilities go and I'm very interested I can't wait to use this card and see how he plays so if you missed the, the spending spree video I encourage you to go watch it but here is one last look at the team now with Joe Shiesty as our QB Garrett Wilson a brand new card I can't wait to try him out and uh, we'll be we'll be live streaming tomorrow morning before wild card wild cards weekly wild cards come out um, with this team so we can see how they play play some weekend league continue to grind that compass but there it is the risk paid off we got ourselves a new QB thank you guys for tuning into another video my name is popular stranger I'm out peace